Hello my friends, this is Bobby D coming to you from the Lombard, Cebu, Philippines. I'm having an awesome day in the Philippines today. I hope you are as well wherever you're from. Hey, today I want to talk to you about the Balak Bayan Visa in the Philippines. The Balak Bayan Visa process in the Philippines. Yeah. Now, when you talk about the Philippines, you understand, this is a country that encourages people to come to the Philippines. Not only people in general, but they encourage the Filipinos to come back to the country. And so, one of the things that they have done to encourage Filipinos, their former Filipinos, overseas Filipino workers, to come back to the Philippines, they established what's called the Bialak Bayan process or the Bialak Bayan visa. Now, first of all, let's take out that word Bialak Bayan. <laughs> what a complex term! We're going to simplify it for you. What is Bialak Bayan? Basically, it's a Filipino word meaning returning patriot, okay? So, basically, it means those Filipinos that are returning to the country of the Philippines. Now, it's aimed at those Filipinos that have uh, retained or obtained foreign national status in another country, they've, they've got naturalized citizenship, it's uh, directed to those Filipinos that are overseas Filipino workers that have been gone for a year or more. And uh, it's also directed to those Filipinos that are currently married to uh, foreign nationals that have been gone for years, at least a year or more. Okay? So it's directed to those people to come back and give it an easy, free, easy, smeezy, <laughs> free way to get back to the country and uh, just to enjoy the Philippines. Very nice privilege. So we're gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna show you the exact law. I'm gonna show you the steps. We, before we get through with this video, you'll know everything you need to know about the Bailak Bayan Visa. So let's take it to the website and I'll go over the details of the Bailak Bayan Visa process for you. All right. Ready? Come on, here we go. All right, my friends, back again with you here. We're going to get ready to go to the website. And we're going to take a look at, let me just shrink this down a little bit and go to this. And we're going to take a look at the uh, Philippine Consulate General website. Okay. And basically, uh, here's the information, and I'll have a link, link in the description of this video to this particular website. Ballot buy a one year fee, one year visa free stay. Uh, it's a ballot buy -in to any overseas Filipino returning to the Philippines, including former Filipinos who've acquired foreign citizenship, can stay in the Philippines without a visa for a period of one year. Get that, you gotta get that, guys. One year. The Balakpayan visa free stay privilege is extended to Balakpayan non Filipino spouse and children provided they enter the Philippines with the Balakpayan. Okay? So, what does that mean? It means you can get, if you're married to a Filipino, married to a Filipina, or Filipino for that matter, you can, you're a foreign national, when you both come into the country, after you've been, after that Filipina or Filipino has been gone for one year, at least one year from the Philippines, you can return to the Philippines with your spouse, and you, the foreign, and, and Filipina or Filipina, can take advantage of this ballot buy-in visa with their family as well as themselves. Okay? Uh, right here says for the spouse, Accompanying family members of the ballot buy-in can bring the appropriate supporting documents. Okay, for the spouse, copy of the marriage certificate. For each child, copy of birth certificate. 
but adopted children copy adoption papers. Philippine law uh, 9174 provides benefits to the ballot finance. Tax free maximum purchase in the amount of USD 1500 or the equivalent of the Philippine and other currency at Philippine government operated duty free shops. Exemption from the travel tax provided that they, their stay in the Philippines is one year or less. If they stay in the Philippines exceeds one year, travel tax will apply. All right, so there you have it, guys. Pretty much it's a simple uh, process. I'm going to go over some other things. I'm going to take a look at the uh, website for the Bureau of Immigration and see what they have to say about it as well. Now, don't just ignore that warning sign right there, guys. It's a software problem on the website. Don't worry about that. Okay, so number one, who are eligible under the Violet Fire Program? Okay, uh, Philippine citizen, Philippine overseas worker, and a former Philippine citizen and his family has been naturalized in a foreign country and comes to or returns to the Philippines. Immediate family members, spouse, children, etc. Okay, uh, who are nationals of countries falling under EO408. EO-48 is basically an executive order that was done by the President of the Philippines in 1960. Uh, and I'll go that, let's go to EO-408 real quick. Uh, the President of the Philippines was uh, it's an executive order done by the President. Basically, a lot of information, but it's basically saying, President at that time was Carlos P. Garcia, and it's basically saying there, this executive order is encouraging Filipinos to come back to the country to visit, et cetera, et cetera, and reducing the uh, restrictions on entry into the country for Filipinos, okay, or former uh, uh, Filipinos. All right, so here we have it. Let's go back to the Bureau of Immigration's website. So number one, who are eligible? I've shown you that. Number two, who are not eligible, entitled to the body of the privilege? former Filipinos and their family members, spouse and children, who are visa required nationals, okay, national, which is nationals of countries not listed under EO 4A, must secure visas prior to their travel to the Philippines. So basically, there are certain countries that, that cannot take advantage of the ballot buy-in privilege. Okay? And for you, those of you that want to know which countries, I invite you to go to EO Order 408, and I'll have that link in the description for you as well. But most countries can take advantage of it. There are a few countries that can. Number three, what are the privileges of the ballot buy-in? Those who are admitted to the ballot as ballot buy-ins are given an initial stay of one year. They may extend their stay for another one year, for another, then they may extend their stay for another one, two, or six months provided that they present their valid passport and filled out the visa extension form submitted to the visa extension in the BI main office or BI offices nationwide. An additional requirement will be asked for valid buyers who have stayed in the Philippines after 36 months. Okay? Number four, a foreigner, spouse, or child of valid buyer can avail of this privilege when traveling to the Philippines alone? Let's read that again. Can a foreigner, spouse, or child of a ballot buyer avail this privilege when traveling to the Philippines alone? Answer. A foreign national spouse and or child of a ballot buyer may only be given the said privilege if he or she is traveling with her ballot buying spouse or parent. So, if you're trying to get into the country and take advantage of the ballot buying visa by yourself as a spouse of the Filipina or Filipino, it will not happen. You have to be present with your spouse in order to enter the country of the Philippines and take advantage of the ballot buying visa privilege. Alright guys, uh, just wanted to bring you some information on the ballot buying visa process. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about it, and it's a pretty simple process. You can take care. God bless. Peace.